I said certified freak, seven days a week, wet ass pussy, make that pullout game weak. Follow me, swallow me, drip down inside of me, yeah. Jump out for you, let it get inside of me. I tell them where to put it, never tell them where I'm about to be. I run down on them before I have a nigga running me. Talk your shit, bite your lip, ask for a call while you ride that dick. Beat it up, nigga, catch a charge. Extra large and extra hard. Put this pussy right in your face. Swipe your nose like a credit card. Now get your boots, hang your coat. Put this wet ass pussy. He bought a phone just for pictures of this wet ass pussy. I'm talking wop, wop, wop. That's some wet ass pussy Macaroni in a pot That's some wet ass pussy Huh Welcome back It's me, Riona And today I'm gonna be teaching you You know How to use Ray Cast Because that's Still a thing and it's still gonna be a thing So something else replaces it Woohoo Um So this is what I do. I open my model, preferably YYB because it's all I've been using. You go to this little mask thingy, reverse everything, and then you just select the face. Just the face, right? Make sure you have these two little option thingies selected. And then just drag along and select, right? And then make sure to have the plugin called Face Forward because that's just the defining thing that makes all of this work. You click here and then I normally put something like 45 or 50 or 60, but it's all on preference. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to be using 50. And then you don't have to touch anything else and just press this little button and then the screen's going to pop up and now, and then click OK, exit out of this. Select everything and woo, oh my god, like her face is a face. Woo! Uh, that's really it. Uh, save your model. Um, and yeah. <laughs> so now that you saved your model and loaded her into MMD, here's what you're gonna wanna do. You're gonna wanna, you know, just adjust the lighting, right? And then just make it backwards, like that, like that. Something like that, you know, where it like, not like that, not like that, gross, let me click. Um, something where, something like this, you know? Like a little bit on her head, a little bit not on her head, hit register. And then you're gonna wanna set up Raycast. To learn how to set up Raycast, you can see my previous tutorial because that's very important and I want views. Thank you very much. So now that we have everything Raycast related loaded without touching the controller or anything, um, it's just as of right now all I have is uh, Ray.x loaded and I set the lighting for Sky Hemisphere which is the skybox I'm using and I have main uh, sphere map or just main, it doesn't really matter, um, I mean it does unless you want like it matters if you want spas. Okay, I can't speak. Um, I'll just go with main for right now since that seems easier. So your lighting is over here in the back. It's unique or whatever. Um, you see all this, just all this like darkness on her face. Um, you're gonna go to your MME tab, the SA SSAO map. I can't, I can never say that right. Um, double click on your model and then make visibility somewhere around 0.2, 0 0.10 for this tutorial. I guess I'm gonna make it 0.1. And oh my god, look, she's boring and flat now, but that's okay. It's okay to be boring and flat. Just be grateful for what you have. I love forced comedy. Um, anyway. Um, cool, we have this now, like, it's like, what do we do from here? So then now we're gonna load directional light.pmx from the lighting folder. And yeah, make sure to hit select so you can still have the shadows and press this little track button so you can see the lighting you have from like the camera so you don't have to go back and forth just to double check. And then now you're gonna want to, hit, you're gonna like set up your colors, a little, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I kind of prefer a little bit more yellowish look, but that's, 
that depends on the person, you know? Just like a little bit of this, right? Uh-huh, cool, cool. And then now you go to your MME effect, ta effect tab. Oh my God, I can't speak. Ugh. Go to the light map tab, double click on your directional light and make it ambient with shadow. And, oh my God, like where'd she go? Like where'd the lighting go? Like I just had it, like it's, Riona, it's not working. Um, it's working. You just gotta like move this down a little and boom. Oh my God, look, like, there's shadows, but what's that? Staircases, oh my God, stairway to heaven. <laughs> but no, um, I'm gonna be including a skybox black dome thing that will fix this problem. If I can find it, ah. Uh... Okay, and now I have the dome loaded in. And see how that kind of instantly fixed that, except for this? Um, see what we're gonna do? Is we're gonna go back to the directional light. And just move it to the left, and boom. Boom, perfect lighting, she's fixed. Then you're gonna wanna go to hardness and bring her up a bit so she can be a little bit more like, sturdy or whatever. And I'm like, oh my god, we're almost there. We're almost at 2MK or whatever. Make sure to hit register on everything. And you're going to want to make the intensity a little bit so you can still see the shadows, but it's not overbearingly bright on the back side. Right, 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 right. You with me, with me? So now you're going to want to go to environment diff diffusion light. I don't know what that means, but... Lower it down a bit, you know, just lower it down a bit, like to there if you want. Um, maybe a little less. Uh, let's register. It up. It up. And then you're gonna wanna load in your controller. Yeah. You know, simple stuff here. But if you want like that, like bright backlighting type shit. Oh, I cursed, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, just move this up, you know? So just a little light, give her a little, like we need sunlight. Like, boom, like, wow. Oh my god, like, oh my god, so bright in the back, but the front, it looks good. But, you know, like, register. Okay, maybe we just need to add a little bit of, like, shadow. Because twice shadow, oh my god, it's such a good song. Anyway, um, give a little shadow, a little character. And then, this is a basic, like, setup. You can adjust the contrast. You can adjust the saturation, give it a little bit of color, or no color at all. Gamma, you know she's a staple. Gamma minus is a staple uh, line for me. It's like, just perfect. It's perfect. Give it a little bit of temperature, because they gotta get hot in here. Um, that's really, really up to preference at this point. Uh, I don't normally have like a set style thingy that I do because I just try to adjust whatever needs to be adjusted for a scene to work. Can increase intensity here, make it maybe a little more blue. So it can be like a whitish color. And then you can just like load a stage or something. Like anything goes at this point, to be honest. Oh my god, materials. I forgot about materials. Oh my god, that's so important. Um, well, let me set this up first. Oh my god, that looks so weird. But we'll get there. Everything can be fixed with a little bit of bouquet. Never. Ever. What's that? What's the word for it? Never ever underestimate. Underestimate. Never underestimate uh, what bouquet can do. So... This little moment was inspired by like a different um, tutorial, I guess. Um, oh no, never mind. Hold on. Subset extract. Make sure you find this. Okay, hold on, girl. I gotta change the language because I cannot read subset. Um, subset extract, and then you go to face. Oh no, in the material tab. In the material tab. I'm a little bit messy. Uh, hide the body in the face. Select it. 
living, I'm living, so we can. Go to your materials. I'll also link the color editor in the description, I guess. Uh, if I can find it. If it's Izzy here. Izzy. It, oh, okay, it's right there. I can see. And then you're going to want to go to skincolor.fx. And then you're going to want to look for the the white part of the eyes, like the, the, the eyeball. Yeah, eyeball, eyeball. Eyeball. Then you're going to want to go to color editor again, and then just go to eye color. So then now you're going to hit apply, apply, and in that same color editor folder, you're going to find a PMX file, which is the controller. And so now you're just going to, this first row of like sliders is just for the skin. So let's say you want some like skin color, because you know, that's kind of all you really want, I guess. You're going to bring red up, put in a little bit of green, some blue, um, maybe a little bit more red. A little bit less green and boom oh my god skin color period um make sure anti-aliasing is off if you want a little bit brighter you can put in a little bit of more green or a little bit more blue maybe a little bit less green but yeah like or if you want it darker but you don't want to mess with the values you can always just use the slider but anyway i'm gonna bring it back because i liked how i had it before um yeah, let's just say that. <laughs> I can't remember the values. And then now you're going to want to register everything. And then go to the eye sliders. It may be different if you don't have the language in Japanese. But in English mode, it's the third one down from each of these sliders. Yeah. So now for these, I always kind of have a set value of 0.3 for each of them. Mainly because 0.2 isn't bright enough, but 0.4 is um bright as hell it's all to yeah okay uh, it's all to preference that's the word i can't so now you're gonna want to go to material map and then look for the little highlight for the eyes you go to emissive you go to fix color one and then you go to white dot fx and then i mean you can like make your own little material for the eyes so they make like reflective or whatever and then, okay, we're here, right? We're here. We're here loud and clear. So now you're going to want to load the best thing in the world, like ever invented. IK Bokeh. Oh my god, it's such a lifesaver. I'm pretty sure y'all can find it. It's an Econo effect. I'll probably link the... What is that? The little website that has everything on there. But yeah, um... Go to the model, you attach it to the head bone, hit register, and then you're gonna wanna load in the controller that's included with IK Bokeh, and then press OK, press select. Okay, you see this right? This third one down, it's for like the front bokeh, so like this little blur in the front, just put it all the way up so it's gone. Um, I, I know people like using IK Bokeh differently, but this is how I do it. Well, this is gonna be my way. <laughs> And then you're gonna move this up a little bit so her hair ain't a little blurry. And then my favorite part is the enhancement slider. So you like make a little more like sparkly in the back. Like it's the little details. And then you're gonna add a little more bokeh just to like hide the imperfections. And then oh my god, we have a scene. Ah! Um, I don't know if y'all like want me to go more into depth of something, but um, this is a general setup. I normally add like post effects just to like fit the scene. Um, yeah, I mean, this is really basically how I set up a video, but not really. I mean, I can do a lot better than this. Promise that. <laughs> I'll promise you that, that I can do a lot better than this. But this is um, a 2MK, a uh, Zookin, uh, a me, a... Uh, Seto, um, in, uh, egg, can't forget about egg, tutorial, and so, I mean, that's basically it, um, yeah, have a good one, oh my god, I'm so quirky, bye, hi, I just realized I forgot something, oh my god, so important, um, 
So now you're gonna wanna load Light Bloom. This is like important. Like if it, it wasn't important before, it's important now. It's from the Raycast homepage or like the extension folder. You're gonna wanna go and load the X file for Light Bloom and the controller for Light Bloom. The X file for Light Bloom with, uh, with um, Dirt Map, that's just a preference. I prefer it without. Um, and yeah, so now you're just gonna go to Bloom Threshold, bring her up a bit. I prefer using this because it's not as messy as um, the one that's with Raycast for all sorts of reasons. You don't gotta adjust like the. You won't have any blocky moments with the uh, with the Bloom as opposed to the one included with the Ray. But yeah, um, give it a little bit of redness because the white light is not the best. Give it a little bit more threshold. Don't give it too much, cause like, look, you, you see like her like face, it gets all blurry and stuff, and then it's like not attractive. It's like not sharp, you know. And then yeah, just do that. Give it a little twirl. Make sure to put it uh, below IK bokeh, so in like this order, so it like I don't know, mixes better or something, but. For the most part, here we are. Like, oh my god, like, Ray, oh my god, period. Bye, again. 